Hello, my tiny and tidy tribe. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing the April edition of my Spark Joy series. You're gonna find out what three items are must-haves for me and are currently sparking joy in my life. If you're new here, I'm Vishali and you are watching Tiny and Tidy, which is where you'll always find content that will help you figure out how to simplify, organize, and clean your home. I also love to share productivity and time management tips, so basically just a bunch of useful stuff that's really gonna improve your life. So hit that subscribe button down below and let's do this. Okay, Spark Joy, April, this, Flip. It's open to. If your mic. Anyway, when I mentioned these lit sizes, I means so they low absolute craziness. <laughs> All right, so item number one is Rubbermaid Brilliance containers. These are the best plastic containers I have ever used in my life. When I first tried these, I only bought one set just to test them out and I fell in love with them right away. So I donated all of my containers and I bought another large set and replaced everything. Now all I have when it comes to plastic containers are these. These containers are BPA free and they're microwave and dishwasher safe. They're made of this really cool plastic that's lightweight and it's durable and it doesn't stain. The containers stay nice and shiny and you can easily see what's inside. I also like that they don't have colorful lids, just these neutral gray latches. If you're microwaving something in them, just leave the lid on and flip the latches open. That'll create small vents so that the air can escape, but the lid will keep the food from splattering all over your microwave and creating a hot mess. It's absolute brilliance. Now I know how they came up with the name. I talked about these containers on Instagram. If you're not following me there, make sure you do. That's my Instagram handle and I'm always sharing useful tips over there. Anyway, when I mentioned these containers on Instagram, I did get a few questions about how they are in the freezer. I personally haven't used them in the freezer, so I'm not too sure. But if you have, please comment down below and let us know. I like to use reusable freezer bags in my freezer. Make sure to check out this video to learn how I keep my freezer organized. I have all sorts of different sizes in these containers and they're perfect for leftovers and meal prep. Every week I prep my berries and these are the containers that I store them in. I'm actually going to be posting a blog post tomorrow that clearly explains how I prep my berries so that they last all week. You can check that out on my website. Yup, that's my URL. I'll also link it in the description box down below. These containers are also leak proof, so you can throw them in your lunch bag or your kids' lunches and won't end up with a big mess by the time you get to work or school. I love that these containers are rectangular, so they make the most of the space available in your fridge. It's also nice that they're stackable and fit perfectly on top of one another. You can fit so many of them in a small amount of space. I've been using these containers for maybe six months now, and they look as good as new. I highly recommend them and will link them down below. <laughs> wow, never in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd someday have a YouTube channel where I'd go on about my love for plastic containers. So crazy. <laughs> All right, let's move on to item number two, my cordless Dyson vacuum. First off, this isn't sponsored by Dyson. I just love this vacuum so much. Pretty much every other mom that I know recommended that I get this vacuum, but I was avoiding it because I already owned a Dyson canister vacuum and a Roomba. So I really didn't want to buy another vacuum. I was waiting for my Dyson to die, but let's face it, Dysons are extremely good quality and they last forever. 
so I finally gave in and I ordered the Dyson V7 cordless vacuum. If you have young kids or a pet that sheds, stop watching this video right now and order this vacuum. It's amazing for so many reasons. First off, it's cordless, which makes it so quick and easy to use. Just grab it, push a button, and you're good to go. The charging station that it comes with can easily be mounted to the wall, and not only does it hold and charge the vacuum, but it also holds the attachments so you never lose them. It's also very slim and doesn't take up a ton of space, which is perfect for us since we live in a fairly small condo. And by the way, if you haven't seen my condo tour video yet, make sure to check it out so that you can get an idea of how we've squeezed our family of five into an 850 square foot condo. It's also very easy to empty and clean this vacuum, which is another added bonus. The one I got has a battery that lasts for 30 minutes, which is perfect since we live in a small space. If you live in a larger home, you might want to consider getting the one that lasts for an hour, but it's also double the price. I figured that when we move to a larger home, I'd rather have two vacuums that last for 30 minutes each so that I can keep them on different floors rather than having one vacuum that I have to carry from floor to floor, but do what works for you. The problem with the Roomba is that you have to clear the floor before turning it on. It takes a long time to do the entire space and the kids will often chase it and press the buttons on it. So it just wasn't working well for us anymore. Whereas using the cordless Dyson is so quick and easy, I use it at least three times a day every single day. If you have young kids, you know how quickly the floor gets littered with crumbs. So having a vacuum like this one is essential. It has a very strong suction and there's actually two options, so you can make the suction even stronger if necessary. It's the perfect hand vacuum and great for cleaning the car. I've had mine for about six months now and the battery is still the same as the first day. I'm not sure if people have experienced issues with the battery over time. If you've owned one for a few years, please comment down below and let let us know. I really hope there won't be any battery issues in the future because I don't know how I'm going to survive without this vacuum. This is by far one of the best purchases I've ever made. If you don't already own one, do yourself a favor and get one. If you've watched my morning routine video, then you know that every morning my husband makes me my Nespresso latte. I don't drink it right away, it just sits on the counter. And then when I finally have time to drink it, I reheat it in the microwave and then I drink it. I know you're all probably wondering why I just don't make it myself when I have time to drink it. All I have to do is push a button. Well, I don't know why. It's just is part of our routine and if he doesn't make it I won't have one that day and I'll be pretty miserable that I didn't have one but I still won't make it I don't know why don't ask <laughs> Anyway, I love, love, love our Nespresso machine. I talk all about it in this video. And I also like the glasses that we have for lattes, cappuccinos, and espressos. And we do still use these glasses all the time. I'll link them down below. But the problem that I was having is that I can't just sit down and drink my coffee. I'm home with a toddler and often have to do a million other things. And what would happen is that my coffee would get cold. I absolutely hate cold coffee, I'd have to reheat it multiple times before I'd manage to finish it. So I finally decided to get a Yeti and wow, boy am I glad that I did. I also got one for my husband and he doesn't leave home without it. So I got this smaller one that won't fit in a cup holder, which is fine because I'm usually at home when drinking my latte and don't take it to go. My husband usually has his coffee on the go, so he has the one that fits in the cup holder. His is also larger since he likes to drink more coffee than I do, whereas I just have one latte per day and that fits perfectly in this Yeti. This thing keeps my latte hot for hours and I can take my time sipping on my coffee all morning and truly enjoy it and not feel rushed. When I'm done, I just pop it in the dishwasher so that it's ready for the next day. Apparently Starbucks and David's Tea make similar ones that also keep drinks hot or cold for hours, so you could also consider getting one of those. And there you have it guys, those are the three items currently sparking joy in my life. If you haven't watched my January or February edition, make sure to watch those. I skipped March because I had to take a break from YouTube to work on my membership. So if you need help getting organized step by step, room by room, check out my Clear the Clutter membership, it's linked down below. 
I've been using cloth diapers on my kids for years and next week I'll be sharing a video all about cloth diapering and the system I have in place. So if that's something that you're interested in knowing more about, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. And make sure that you also watch one of these videos for more practical and useful tips. Thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!